In order to work with the sharing settings in Google Drive, we'll take a look at some different folders and files and how they're shared and how you can go about changing some of those sharing preferences. You'll notice that in some of these folders I've got on mine, they have this little, almost like a little person's silhouette here, where it looks like a little person's head and body. Uh, that means that that folder is shared with someone else, or it might be a folder that someone else shared with me and I added to my drive. So in order to change how a folder or file is shared with someone, I would need to click on one of my folders or files, whichever one I want to change the sharing settings of. Uh, let's say that I have somebody who asks me that they want to use some of the materials that I've saved in my Count of Monte Cristo folder. So what I can do is I can click on that folder to highlight it, and then I can come up here to the little silhouette with the plus, and when I hover over that, it says Share Count of Monte Cristo. So if I do that, I can start to put in the names of people with whom I'd like to share this folder. I can give them access, so let's say I want to share this with Anthony. I can give him access to this folder, and I can decide whether or not I want him to be able to edit the files or just be able to take a look at them. Uh, he could also make a copy of them and put them in one of his own folders if he'd like, but I can decide what I want to allow him to be able to do. If I wanted someone, if I want to open up this folder to a bunch of different people, and let's say I wanted to share it with you, but then I'll also allow you to share it with other people, I would come up here to the sharing settings. And if I don't see this up here uh, for the preferences, uh, the sharing preferences, I can come down here and click advanced, and then I can get more information about who this is going to be shared with. And currently it's shared with anyone at Hawthorne 73 who has the link can view. So if anybody who is using this uh, folder, it decides to send you the link for the folder, you're able to take a look at it. You won't be able to change any of the files in it, but you can take a look at it. If I wanted to change that, I would just come here and click change, and I can decide, maybe I want to send this to somebody who doesn't even work in our district. I could change it to on, anyone with the link who has access can take a look at this. And I can decide whether they can view or whether they can edit. So that's really up to you. What It depends on the file, depends on what you're doing with it, but you can control who can see what, who can work with what, and whether it's something that is public to everyone, just within Hawthorne, or only very specific people that you list if you choose that option.